Epidemiologist of the African Field Epidemiology Network, Dr. Aisha Dusman, joins us to further discuss this matter. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7, Doctor. Well, as the maiden celebration of the world's disease detectives, help us better understand the significance of this day, especially as the world battles the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, good evening, and thank you for having me. Yeah, today is a very significant day uh, because this is the first of its kind that we are celebrating and we are appreciating the work that the field epidemiologists do all over the world. Yes, field epidemiologists are disease detectives. They are a group of professionals with a competency-based training that enables them to identify the causes of diseases, to know who is affected, where is the disease happening, when and why is it happening. And when they have all this information, they will be able to come up to prefer solution and implement uh, prevention and control measures so that we have reduced the number of cases, we have reduced the uh, number of hospitalization, we have reduced spread of the disease. So we play a major role in disease outbreak uh, containment mm. and also in uh, coming up with uh, researches, epidemiological studies that will guide uh, future preparedness for outbreak or any other disease um, events or conditions in, 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 in the nation. All right, let's bring this home to Nigeria. Uh, do the number of epidemiologists we have uh, at the moment is it proportionate with the population how effective and efficient really has it been okay so uh, the recommended number of feed epidemiology is one per 200 uh, thousand population but based on the available data that we have here now in nigeria we have the highest uh, geopolitical zone with the highest number of field epidemiology that is south uh, southeast has three epidemiologists field epidemiologists per 1000 population you see that that's a very huge gap we don't have uh, as of now within the country we have close to like 400 field epidemiologists and if you look at the population of nigeria we are over 200 million so definitely we still have a, a huge gap in, in the number of field epidemiologists that we have in the country. Mm, so how do we boost those figures, especially considering uh, uh, the whole issue of brain drain and the search for greener pastures we keep hearing about? Yes. So uh, this, this is like a, a huge loss to, to Nigeria, the issue of brain drain, because these people have been trained with the resources of Nigeria, but because we have so many issues, the political support is not very strong in the healthcare system, and we have weak, weak infrastructures. Yeah, people are looking for greener pastures everywhere, and, and this is a form of loss to, to the nation, really, which uh, I think our leaders um, need to critically look at. I know that the uh, day before yesterday, there's a committee to look at the health um, reform within the country. I'm looking forward to see that this committee will come out with new strategies which will help to strengthen uh, our healthcare system mm -hmm. in Nigeria. All right. As it stands, field epidemiologists do a whole lot, and especially as we all unite to tackle uh, uh, COVID-19. What kinds of support are you looking uh, to receive from governments, from individuals, and from uh, every sector one could actually think of? Okay. So um, in the country, we have the field epidemiology training program. Uh, which is being implemented by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control presently with uh, technical support from African Field Epidemiology Network and financial support from um, Redise, which is uh, a, a World Bank uh, credit. So there's need for increased funding for this program because if you have increased funding, that's when we'll be able to train more people in field epidemiology to build capacity of other healthcare workers and not only within the health sector, also the agricultural sector and the environmental sectors because it has to be a multidisciplinary approach. We're looking at one health as a paradigm. So 
if we have field epidemiologists in the animal sector, they take care of these zoonotic diseases in terms of also food security in the earth sector also and in the environmental sector. So we need to train more people. As I've said earlier, there's an age gap to what is recommended and what we have presently in Nigeria. So there's need to train more people. There's need for more funding so that because this training now, as I've said, we're using the work bank credits and so the sustainability is a bit shaky so our political leaders need to look at it and see how we can get more funding uh, to support this program so that we'll be able to train more people and we have more field epidemiology in the country to support the health system and we are sure that we have a stronger health system that can quickly respond to any public health emergencies that may arise in future all right, thank you very much for your insight at this time. Epidemiologist of the African Field Epidemiology Network, Dr. Aisha Dusman. Thank you for joining us on TVC News at 7, and thank you for all you do.